Oh, it's so weird. The fish tank is gone. So at my sister's old house, it is just about completely empty. And me and TJ are going to fish the lake. The one that's across the street over there, possibly for the last time. There is a new lake though by their new house that is actually much bigger than this one, but this might be the last time we fish this lake. Maybe. But we have a whole new big lake to explore. Hi, I'm Jeff, and the sun is so in my eyes. But I'm not gonna let that stop me. I need to get me some more baits, and I like getting the Guggen baits for lots of reasons. One, they catch fish. And two, these guys are actually YouTubers. All five of these guys. So who do we got from left to right? Lunkers TV, Lake Fork Guy, John B, Flair, AP Bass. Bass. A AP Bass, and that's Alex Perrick. So I watch all five of these guys' channels, but I mean, how, how cool is that? These guys are YouTubers, and they got their own brand here in the store, and they work. They work well, so this is what I use. I support you, Guggen Squad. They've got some new ones out, the Rattle and Ned, and uh, the the lunker log and I'm not finding either of those here unfortunately so I'm just gonna go with some bandito bugs but I can't wait to try those new ones bag of baits might need a paddle and I guess I'll take a couple of fishing poles too why not Headed over to the small, tiny little island right about there. Last time I was here, TJ was killing it over there. I guess while we're still paddling over, I just said that TJ caught some monster bass over here last time. I might as well just go ahead and show a couple of clips of that. Heck yeah, dude. You want me to get it for you? All right, bring it over here. Okay. There. Dude, nice catch, man. There we go. You wanna hold them or no? Uh, I wanna try. Cause if you, if you hold them like this, you see how I got them? Yeah, and then it doesn't like do anything yep. stuff. Yep, right. You gotta get your thumb in there and get your, your index finger. You gotta keep his mouth open. Okay, okay you got him? Hurts? Yes. I'll hold them up. So TJ got a nice bass. Good job, TJ. Back on. Yeah, you're good. Good catch. High five. Sweet. Dude, you got another one? Yeah. Alright, let's see it. Kind of squirmy. squirmy? Yeah. No, that's a large mouth. Well, TJ got another large mouth. I forgot about this next clip, but while TJ was catching the fish, these are the kind of tricks the fish were playing on me. There's one, there's a fish. Yeah! Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I jumped twice. Right by the boat too. Oh, dude, he's not done fighting. Get over here. Come on, come on. Dude, look at that. You done? Look what he did to the bait, man. It's like way up the line. Oh, and he left me with freaking... Look! He did like a magic trick. Oh, that is crap. Yeah, see there? Hopefully, at least one or both of us can do that again here. Bandito bug. Guggen baits. Blue baby. This things work pretty well, gotta say. There you go, one for you. And one for me. Come on, monster bass. 
Oh, something hit it. Something hit it. There we go. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Ooh, this is one. These guys fighting. Oh, look at that bass. Come here, mama. Yup. He was barely hooked too, man. Not too big. Got the skunk out of the boat though. It was not too bad so far. First cast I had a bite. Second cast got a fish. You got one? Gotta go help TJ take her fish off her hook. She's saying she's got something. Still got it? Is it a bass? Rock bass? Oh yeah? You got red eyes? Yeah. Yeah, it's a rock bass. Yep. Alright. TJ's first one. Little rock bass with red eyes. You want to kiss him goodbye? No. <laughs> All right. Whoa, my gosh. Oh, I got a beast. No, I think that's tree trunk. If it's a tree trunk, it is fighting. <laughs> it is, oh, dude, it is not a tree trunk. Oh, my gosh. It's fighting like, oh, it let go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that hurts. Oh my gosh, that thing was huge. Did you see it? Oh my gosh, it was big. My heart is going, my adrenaline is pumping. Oh, that thing was big. Or a pike. It could have been a pike, you're right. Could have been a giant pike. Whatever it was, <laughs> it was big and I'm sure the people on the other side of the lake heard all about the fact that I lost it. <laughs> I didn't know that there were whales in this lake. <laughs> that was a whale. You need a fish taken off? Yeah. yeah. Can you back up a little bit? I need to cast out again and see if I can try to uh, hook onto my orca again. Nice. There we are. <laughs> you think that was the whale? <laughs> yeah, that was a regular old shamu right there, TJ. Nice job. That's two for TJ. And the one that got away for me. That's a fish story right there. I was what? You're getting cold. Cold? Pulled. Pulled? Dude, yeah, you saw you, you saw me getting pulled by it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm glad that TJ caught that because I, that's what I thought I felt. And TJ just said that she saw that fish pulling me. Like it was moving my whole kayak, pulling me towards it. And then it let go and broke my dreams of catching the big one today. It's starting to get pretty dark, so we at least have to go back over there by the reeds, which is close to the docks. And we can fish a little bit more over there. It's the next day. I really want to go back out by that island and try to catch that giant whale that uh, got off. I mean, I'm sure you can hear it in the video. He is ripping drag uh, for my reel, and I did not have my drag loose. It was pretty tight, and he was still pulling it out. But um, 
Maybe later I can do that, but for now I'm at my sister's new house and I might just have to go walk down to the boat launch. Uh, they got some uh, some docks and boats lined up out there. Might have to give it a try. There is a severe thunderstorm on its way and that branch just fell from this tree. Right here. It fell in the road and in the driveway and uh, should probably get out of the way and not stand here like an idiot because another one could be falling. But we're supposed to get some hail and... That's a good one. Me and my sister were actually just talking. We, uh, we both kind of like a good storm. They're kind of mesmerizing to watch. All right. Got a nice little canal here to try to fish. Could be some fish in here. I'm sure if I had a worm I could catch some uh, bluegill or perch or something but as far as bass goes, they are probably in deeper water right now. Might have to actually walk around over there and see if I can cast out a little bit or something. Who's texting me? There's frogs jumping in, hanging out by these lily pads, so there's gotta be some fish eating them. All right, we got a lot of lily pads over here. I'm gonna give it a dangle. All right, no bites. I'm sure it has something to do with the time of day. It is, uh, it's midday, it's pretty hot out, but uh, I like this spot. I mean, look at all these lily pads. Right in front of me here, we got lily pads, and out there we got lily pads. So you know that early in the morning or in the evening, you've got bass feeding around here on some frogs or bugs or whatever, but a lot of cover here. I'm sure it's got something to do with the time of day. I'm gonna try to come back here uh, in the evening or something. I'm sure there's gotta be some big bass here. Back at the docks now, but this time I have a secret weapon, live worms. Cause when all else fails, try some live worms. And I uh, also got Raylan here with me. And her friend Lyndon, hi Lyndon. Hi. And Lyndon has only fished like once. Is that right? So this kind of turned into me trying to see what kind of fish are here and also a little bit of teaching someone how to fish at the same time, which I'm totally fine with. I love teaching people how to fish. Sure. So here we go. Gonna get rigged up on some worms and at least catch some bluegill or perch or something, but let's see. Ew! <laughs> she says, ew! It's a baby crawler, baby night crawler. What are you gonna do with the fish that you catch? Probably throw them back. Unless it's a walleye. Yeah. Okay, now it's really time to cast and see if we can get a little thump thump. Today is a windy day. Oh, yep, there we go, got one. Woohoo! Check this out. Hold on, hold on. Are you to put your arm on there? What? Are you going to throw it back? Yes. Alright. First one over here by the docks. Got ourselves a little bluegill. Oh, Something's biting. Something's biting? Yeah, but it's a... Well, that's a good sign though, right? Still got worm? Yep. Okay. Try it again. Yeah, 
if, if you catch a fish, chances are you're gonna want me to take it off because I'm guessing you'll scream. The worm stole your fish. That was a big worm. The fish stole your worm. The worm stole her fish. All right, go ahead. Set the hook. Pull it. Is he still on it? Did he take your worm? He stole it. You will catch something. Yes, you will. So when you see that bobber move, or if you feel it tug, you gotta you gotta tug back to set the hook. Okay, before anything else, we gotta get Lyndon to catch her first fish ever. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. That's all right. Feel it, you got one? Yeah. What type is it? Sweet. This is a bluegill. It's a little... Can I throw it back? You want to throw it back? Yeah. If I can... You want me to take it off the hook first? Yeah. Okay. Did you feel him fighting when you were reeling it? Yeah. What did it feel like? Was yeah. it cool? No, it just felt weird. It just felt weird? Yeah. Okay. Held it. Well, you want to touch it first? Because I know how you reacted with the worm. So go ahead and touch him. Ew, Yeah, a little Ew. bit. You want to throw him back? Yeah. Okay. So... Make sure your hand goes over the back, goes from, from his head to his tail, so his spiny things don't come up, okay? Just like that. I'll, I'll try to keep him down for you. Okay, grab it. Come up here. Like that. Got him? Yeah. All right. I just throw him back? Yep. Good job. Lyndon, high five. Wash your hands now? Yeah, wash them in the lake. Good job. Yeah, but guess what? I got, I got another fish. And this is what you get with worms. <laughs> Tiny ones, but at least it's something. Lyndon, congratulations. You guys give Lyndon a, a thumbs up for reeling in her first fish ever. That's pretty exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I do appreciate the view and I hope you like these kinds of videos because I happen to just love to fish. And I hope to do some more fishing here. It's going to be fall fishing. I, I wish I could have done more in the summertime. But uh, so until the next one, when life gets you down, stand up and overcome. And to the whale of a fish that got away, I'm coming for you. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But I'm going to get you.